Hi, it's Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Today, let's talk about the Vegan Slim Weight Loss Shake from NatureAid. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ingredients and some of the research and pros and cons on the Vegan Slim Shake to help you see if it's right for you. So the first thing I would say is, is there any research on the Vegan Slim Weight Loss Shake? And I would say, no, I couldn't find any. In other words, I couldn't find any research where they took the NatureAid Vegan Slim Shake into the lab, tested it against a placebo to see if it helped people lose weight, curb their appetite, lower their blood sugar, et cetera. But that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't work. It just means that nobody's taken it in the lab yet. There is some research on several of the ingredients in the Vegan Slim Shake. So let's look at some of those ingredients next. Let's begin by looking at the supplement facts label. And there is a lot going on here. I couldn't even fit it onto one page, but here is essentially the vitamins and minerals and other things in the Vegan Slim Shake. And what I would say, number one, is it's a high protein shake. It's giving you about 25 grams, almost an ounce of protein. And I know it's a high protein shake because I see 30% right next to that. If we look up here at the percent daily value, that's the percentage of what is often recommended per, set per day, the thing to remember is when you see more than 20% it means it's high in that nutrient. So there's 30% of your daily protein, it's a high protein shake. I'd also point out that if we go above that, it's also high in fiber. So it's a high fiber, high protein shake. In terms of weight loss, that could be a good thing because both fiber and protein can help us feel full, and which may help curb our appetite, which in theory may lead to weight loss. And so that it might be one mechanism by which this works. If we drop down to the vitamin B12 level, we see that there's 375% of what is recommended daily for B12. So why is there so much B12 in the Vegan Slim Shake? Well, some people would point out that maybe B12 may improve energy levels. I would say it probably does not unless you were deficient in vitamin B12. So who might be deficient in vitamin B12 that might be attracted to the Vegan Slim Shake? Perhaps maybe people with diabetes. One of the things that the NatureAid company has said is they wanna use the Vegan Slim Shake to help people eat better, manage their weight, bring their weight down to help curb the uh, epidemic of diabetes and prediabetes. Well, some people with diabetes may be taking a medication called metformin metformin can decrease vitamin B12 absorption. So is that the reason why there's so much B12 in the Vegan Slim Shake? Well, it's hard to say, it's speculation on my part, um, but you know, it is what it is. Biotin is also a lot in the Vegan Slim Shake. There's an awful lot of biotin in it. Let's stick a pin in that for right now. I'll talk about biotin in the uh, potential side effects section in a few moments. There is an awful lot of chromium in the Vegan Slim Shake as well, 571% of what is normally recommended per day. So chromium can help lower blood sugar levels and that might be of benefit to people with pre-diabetes. Okay, that's most likely why there's chromium. They're using a proprietary blend of chromium called chromate uh, that actually appears to be better absorbed chromium than just the regular mineral by itself, okay? And then the last thing I'd pull your attention to is, well, it's also a high sodium shake as well two scoops, and I again call your attention here, two scoops is a serving of the Vegan Slim Shake. Two scoops is giving you 28% of the amount of sodium you should be consuming per day. Most people, at least in America, are advised to not eat more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. Two scoops is giving you 640 milligrams of sodium. So if this is the quote unquote worst thing you eat per day, you're doing okay because you're probably eating low sodium overall. But what I would say is look at the other foods, the other sodium in the foods you're eating, and that'll give you an idea of whether this is a high sodium thing for you or not. It may or may not. So, but I, again, it is, it is technically high in sodium. It just depends on the other foods you're eating as well of whether that really makes a difference. Now, in addition to the supplement facts, I would say that there are six proprietary blends in the Vegan Slim Shake as well. And let's just briefly go through them here. You've got the Vegan Protein Blend, and again, you see several sources of protein of which 
P protein is the number one uh, thing listed. That tells us that P protein makes up most of the protein in the vegan slim shake. Again, protein can help us feel full and that may curb our appetite. That's a good thing. So that, that is, uh, that, that's fine. And then if we jump right below that, we see the fiber blend a whole bunch of things promoting fiber uh, in, in, the, in the shake. Inulin, also called chicory root extract. This is the first ingredient listed, so it's contributing most of the uh, fiber in the Vegan Slim Shake. So fiber is great because fiber again can fill us up and that may help us from overeating. We don't get any usable calories from fiber, so it doesn't really contribute to your calorie needs. But the other thing that I would point out with fiber, which is a good thing, is your microbiome like to eat fiber. And you know we've got all these, these bacteria that live inside of our gut and they like to eat the food we eat and they give off compounds that we can turn can use to stay healthy. Well. A lot of those bacteria like to eat fiber. So one other way in which uh, the fiber blend may benefit us perhaps might be by improving gut health. Now, if we go to the very next uh, blend, we see this is the vegan energy blend. And to be honest with you, I don't get a big bang out of this because the first ingredient I see here is sugar. Yeah, we do take sugar and we do turn it into energy. So technically this is correct. Um, but eh, again, it's just not something that I would pay much attention to, to be honest with you. Let me jump over the weight loss uh, blend and come back to that, uh, and I'll, I will in a second. The digestive enzyme blends, you've got bromelain, promeate, protease, amylase, and lipase. These are uh, digestive enzymes. They break down carbs and fats and proteins. So I would say, number one, healthy people make all the enzymes they need, and uh, they don't need extra enzymes. However, if you have any kind of digestive problems, well, then perhaps maybe they may offer some benefit. But for most healthy people, probably not so much. And then the final blend you see is the blood glucose balance blend. It's supposed to help regulate your blood sugar. And all these ingredients here you see, cinnamon and chromium and uh, banana be, uh, extract, they, they're, definitely gonna in, they're definitely gonna lower blood sugar level and that could be a benefit to people with prediabetes. Again, cinnamon can help lower blood sugar levels and, and, and cholesterol levels, maybe even lowering hemoglobin A1C levels. Chromium also has some uh, blood sugar lowering properties as well. So all these make sense to me in terms of blood sugar regulations. So that, uh, that, that makes sense because the company is kind of moving towards helping people with diabetes and regulating blood sugar. So these do make some sense to me. Um, if we jump up to the weight loss and appetite control blend, we've got three ingredients. We've got Garcinia cambogia, uh, we've got rhodiola, and we've got ashwagandha. All three ingredients are giving you a combination of 2.4 grams or 2,400 milligrams, of which Garcinia cambogia is providing most of this because it's listed first. So if I look at say the rhodiola and the ashwagandha, I would say they're not traditional weight loss supplements, but what they do tend to do is lower stress and anxiety levels. So my thought and feelings here are by providing rhodiola and ashwagandha, perhaps maybe by reducing our stress levels, they may prevent us from overeating. And that I think is my, probably why they're there. But if we look at Garcinia cambogia, I do think it may be the main weight loss supplement in the Vegan Slim Shake. So there is various studies over the years that have been conducted on Garcinia Cambogia and weight loss. And some of those studies do show Garcinia Cambogia can help people lose weight. And then there are other studies out there that show Garcinia Cambogia does not appear to help people lose weight. And so that makes a bit of a conundrum how effective it really is. And I do think Garcinia needs better research on it. Now, to their credit, they are, the Nature Aid company is using a form of Garcinia called Super Citramax, which is a better absorbed form of Garcinia Cambogia. And there is some research on Super Citramax that it can help people lose weight. And that's a good thing. 
Now, having said that, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that Garcinia cambogia is a bit of a controversial weight loss supplement. And that's because over the last several years, there have been several reports of people who were taking Garcinia cambogia and they started to go through liver, having liver problems. Their liver enzymes went up. Some of them actually went into liver failure. Here is one such report of Garcinia and liver failure. Here is a, another report linking Garcinia to liver problems. And here is yet another report linking Garcinia cambogia to liver. So what's going on here? Number one, I would say that the vast majority of evidence for this comes from lone individuals who wound up in the hospital uh, with liver problems after taking Garcinia. These are not the same thing as clinical studies where you take people into their lab and you, you give them Garcinia or a placebo. And so we don't have that level of research yet. The other problem with the uh, liver toxicity reports of Garcinia cambogia is that many people were taking multi-ingredient dietary supplements. In other words, they weren't just taking Garcinia by itself. They were taking something that may have had, you know, 10, 20, 30, you know, or maybe even more uh, ingredients in it, which leaves open a possibility, was it something else that caused the liver problems? I have seen at least one report, however, of, in, of an individual who was getting, who went into liver failure and he was only taking one ingredient only, and it was Garcinia. So again, I, you need to realize this if you're gonna be taking Garcinia Cambogia. On the plus side, again, to be perfectly fair, uh, the, the uh, Vegan Slim Shake is using this Super Citramax uh, ingredient. I have not seen any liver problems associated with the Super Citramax version of Garcinia, and that's a good thing. But again, this may be something to talk to your doctor with if you have any kind of liver issues. In terms of side effects, so I don't think there's many side effects for vast majority of people. The product's been out for a while and I haven't seen anything bad about it, but there are a few things I will call your attention to. Number one, yeah, you wanna to talk to your doctor if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. I, I, again, it's just that there's not a lot of clinical studies on pregnancy and breastfeeding and dietary supplements. So do your due diligence if, that's, if that pertains to you. Same thing if you take any medications, like medications for diabetes, for instance. It is possible that medications can interact with many different medications you may be taking. So again, do your due diligence, speak to your doctor. And then earlier in the video, I mentioned that there was a lot of biotin in the Vegan Slim Weight Loss Shake. So there is evidence that biotin can interfere with blood tests for hypothyroidism. And so if you have hypothyroidism or you're getting tested for hypothyroidism, you wanna to talk to your doctor, tell your doctor you're taking a biotin supplement or a supplement containing biotin. Again, biotin's in hair supplements too, so we're just not talking about uh, the Vegan Slim Shake. Look at the supplements you're taking, that'll tell you how much biotin's in it. And then maybe if you're gonna get tested for hypothyroidism uh, or hyperthyroidism, you may not wanna take the supplements for a few days before you get your blood test. So in terms of pros and cons for the Vegan Slim Shake, here's my opinions. Number one, it's a respected company. The Nature Aid company's been around for, gee whiz, the, since the 1920s. That's longer than most dietary supplement companies in the world, it's a very well-respected company. I also pointed out earlier that there's a, there's a good amount of fiber in the Vegan Slim Shake. That's good. Fiber can fill us up, helps our microbiome, and may curb appetite and help weight loss. Several other ingredients can also help lower blood sugar levels, may aid in weight loss, and may curb appetite as well. So again, the ingredients, uh, several of them do have human studies showing they do something, and that's also good. Widely available, you can buy the Vegan Slim Shake pretty much everywhere, Costco, Target, Walmart. You can buy it directly from the Nature Aid Company uh, website themselves. And by the way, their customer support is very good. I've called them myself and they're very, very, uh, uh, they're very, very supportive when you, when you ask them questions. There's no auto shipments either. And I, call, I think that's a plus as well because when you sometimes order supplements online, you get into this hamster wheel of auto shipments where they send you stuff on a regular basis, not with this product at all. When you run out, you get more. And so there's no more auto, no auto shipments, and that's a good thing. And then also several people have said that the Vegan Slim Shake tastes really good. And that's a plus because a lot of these shakes may not taste so good. I've tasted several of them over the years, and some of them eh, leave a lot to be desired. This one I've heard tastes very good. 
In terms of the cons, I would say it is pricey. So you want to shop around for the best price for you, depending on, you know, what you pay per month. You know, remember, you may be buying one or two bags of this per month, and that could add up. I also, as I said earlier today, said there's no research on the Vegan Slim shakes itself. I would like to see some clinical studies on the shake, not just the ingredients. I do feel that Garcinia Cambogia is controversial, and to be honest with you, I wish they would take it out of the shake. I'd feel much better about it if they did. And then, as I said before, it's high in sodium, which would depend uh, if, if upon the other food you're eating, whether that means it's high in sodium for you. Again, you gotta look at the totality of what you're eating. Just don't focus on this by itself. So there you have it. Have you tried the Vegan Slim Shake? If you have, leave a comment below. I'll be interested to see what you have to say. Until next time, I'm Joe from Supplement Clarity. Take care.